Hello, Creative Breakthrough people. Are you there? I should have a, I should have music or something for this, shouldn't I? Instead of just me uh, tapping my pen against the glass. It's not that impressive, is it? It's even a glass today. I don't even have a beautiful creative mug. This is terrible. So anyway, welcome. <clears throat> welcome, people, to say hello if you're uh, catching this. Welcome to the first show in the... Uh, in the Creative Breakthrough Challenge. I hope you're as excited as I am, because I'm really excited. And looking through, I just released the first video just a few hours ago, and I've already got some beautiful creations, spontaneous creations in the, the group thread. And we're going to look at them in a second. So do say hello. Got someone saying hello. I bet it's Despina, I'm going to guess. Hello, Despina. Oh, it's Facebook user. Facebook user. <clears throat> this is what your comment looks like. If you want me to see who you are, you need to go to streamyard.com slash Facebook, streamyard.com slash Facebook, and you just accept. And then I, instead of it saying Facebook user and a blank face, it's got your face and <clears throat> your name. Uh, and there's another Facebook user saying hello. So the same story goes for you. Hello, anyway. So nice to have you here. Oh, and a third one. I've got... It was Tinkutsa. Hi, Tinkutsa. Tinkutsa. TC. Teeny. <clears throat> yeah, and sometimes after a month or two, you have to do it again. You have to go through the process again. I had an exciting time with my book up, my booking system for this challenge. The system I used, a certain aspect of it, decided just as I put the link out that it wasn't going to work. These little things are sent to try us. So anyway, it's great. You know, I just, I did this at the last minute, you know, surprise, surprise. But I've still got like 20, 30 people on registered for the challenge. My challenge is getting you all to contribute. Your challenge is to take part and to contribute. And we've already got some great stuff. So, you know, without further ado, well, here's the kind of plan. I'm going to ask you if you have any questions, so any time at all right now, any questions you have about either the challenge itself, the format of it, the video lessons, anything that happens in the lessons you're not sure of, any points that I talk about creativity, or anything that I ask you to do. If you're not sure about any of that, ask me now. <clears throat> or in the chat afterwards, if you're watching the replay, hello, replay watchers, just ask me, I'll still see it. And um, also the membership site, I call it the membership site, I call it the challenge site. This is the site, which I forgot to share, which, uh, where, you do the, uh, where you do the challenge, where you watch the videos and where you take part. So I'm just going to show you that because this is what you should, that's, that's the page you can send your friends to if you'd like to. If you have any friends, you know, there's plenty of time. They can join tomorrow, Wednesday. It's not a problem. Send them to infinitecreativitynow.com slash five days, and um, they can join. <clears throat> so you should have got access to this by now. I'm not saying the process was perfect because it wasn't. I'm still learning. They change things. They change things sometimes when, you know, I'm assuming all responsibility for any problems you had. <laughs> Having said that, I've had problems as well, you know. It's just the internet. Anyway, hopefully you're in. If you're not in, send me a message and I'll give you the magic link which takes you straight in. Your creative mission, this is it. You so see, you should, should you choose to accept it, is to turbocharge your creativity and explore new ways of, did I really write this? Letting your limitless imagination shine. Because limitless imaginations shine, you know. Choo! by completing all five lessons by the end of the week. Sunday, not Friday. Don't worry. Relax. And um, there's a little intro video. <clears throat> These are your goals. I've actually used my full masterclass platform for this challenge. So you're getting quite a bit of what you would get in my masterclass actually here. Not the content, but uh, the experience. You can choose you can choose goals. Now, you can't click these, or you shouldn't be able to click these until um, you've done them, <laughs> okay? So theory, I'm not gonna click, but you shouldn't be able to click them until you're actually, theoretically, you can have done them. <clears throat> so that's a little thing to do and get some points. These are the next trainings that you have. 
this is me looking at it, so I haven't done the warm-up session yet. And then this is the latest one that's available at the bottom, and it's the it's the day one, enable it training, which I just released today. And if you do click on view, or maybe you click there, I'm not sure, you go to this page. This is the page for this day, for Monday. I've got someone saying hello again, and uh, it's Despina. I think when I'm watching you in a group, my name doesn't appear. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. It's possible. <clears throat> so this is what you should see. You click here, you see the day's video. You can make it full screen as well if you like. Don't need to. And it describes what the video is about. And then you have some actions to complete. Now, it looks like there's a lot, but to be honest, they're nothing. They're really small. All of these actions relate to what's in the video. Just the little activities I ask you to do in the video. Uh, the point of them being several actions is so that you can click them and I don't know if it goes kitching or something like that, and you get points. You get points, people. And points mean prizes. Well, they don't, but um, <laughs> they mean satisfaction and they mean a nice little sound. So that's kind of cool. And you know, we could actually see who's got the most points at the end of the challenge. And that's basically the, the home page for the challenge. Okay. So I hope you've got into that. It's, it's vital because that's where the video the videos live. Okay. Otherwise, we have the Facebook group. Uh, by the way, there are prizes. I'm going to be giving away prizes uh, starting from tonight. So uh, those of you who are here, maybe you'll get a prize. Uh, the, the Facebook group you should be in. It's the Infinite Creativity Now group, which is going to be home for my creative stuff, which isn't photography and isn't writing. And I'm just going to look at some of your hellos because it's so nice to see you saying hello. Uh, you can say hello in the chat as well. And if you've got any questions, any questions about anything to do with the challenge, in the chat, please. Now, uh, Tinkutsa says it's a cool platform. And I love the first video of the challenge. You know, Tinkutsa, you really, really encourage me when you say things like that. You know, you can't you can't believe how, how touching it is. So thank you so much for that. Um, so let me just have a look at some of the, some of you saying hello. I'm not going to read them all. I'm just going to, you know, acknowledge you and say that you're wonderful. Does that sound good to you? <laughs> Tinkutsu, oh, you're everywhere. Tinkutsu, uh, Dorothy is saying hello. Hello, Dorothy. Nice to have you here. I haven't seen anything from you yet. Um, I'm actually going to refresh this so that I've got the absolute latest hellos. <clears throat> By the way, I'm, I'm not planning on this being longer than half an hour, so. Um, maybe maybe later ones will be a little bit when there's more things to look at, but we'll see. Okay, so who said hello? Tinkutsu said hello. I love creating online courses. Yuriska's uh, thinking of uh, creating a brand. Fantastic, Yuriska, go for it. Uh, nothing but a burning light. We'll hear the story about that one day, won't we, Thomas? Nothing but a burning light. It's weird. We've done a whole masterclass together, and I don't know why you use that. Um, hello to everyone. Kirsten, first time she's doing um, a program with me. Wonderful. So happy. To, so incredibly creative, Kirsten. Uh, Laurel's here from Australia. What a thrill to be here. She loves creating so many things. Oh, my goodness. Don't you, Laurel? And she sings as well. She gives us songs and everything. Lesbina. Oh, God, I know the name. Oh, God, where is she from? Turkey? Bulgaria? I don't know. Despina. Okay, nice name. Nice name. Love writing, drawing, taking photos. Currently obsessed with, uh, or back to my first love, black and white photos. Excellent, Despina. That's fantastic. Angela, great friend of Despina's, who I seem to know, actually. Acting, making constructions from different materials. Restoring furniture, decorating, smashing her knee uh, is one of her specialities, I remember. And um, painting, singing, and taking photographs. Is that all? Okay, you've got all of these notifications popping up. I don't, I don't know how to turn them off. Teresa is here. Teresa, wonderful Teresa from my masterclass. She also adopted one of my Infinity Squared puzzle paintings. Really looking forward to the five-day challenge. Sana is here. Sana, how are you doing, my lovely lady? Uh, great to be here. Love the feeling of creating. Love to create inspiring posts, writing, taking. Oh, someone's mentioning me a comment. Hello. 
Um, <clears throat> love to sing. Da oh, Sana. Sana, she does such beautiful dances. I saw one just a, a day or two ago. A lovely, just 30 seconds dancing. I was going to say like I could never do, which is like a negative thing to say, isn't it? But <laughs> You wouldn't want to see me dancing right now. Well, you might, but for absolutely the wrong reasons. Oh, good grief. <clears throat> okay, so that is the, the hellos. Say hello, okay? Say hello in the thread, in the hello thread. Um, now I'm going to pop over to the uh, the challenge for today. Now, I hope you saw the video, and I hope uh, it made sense to you. It was actually longer than I intended. I swore it would be around five minutes. It was more like eight. I'm sorry, but you know me. Eight minutes is rather good for me. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping the next ones will be more like five minutes. Really short, one or two main points, and off you go and create something. So today, I'm not going to go into the details of why I asked you to do what I did ask you to do today. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. There's a very specific reason for what I asked you to do today. And it was create anything. Brianna, Brianna, that was fun. I just took a series of photos at night while acting like I was hiding. Now, Brianna is in, um, oh my God, is it Malaysia, uh, Bali, something like that, somewhere exotic. Amazing, beautiful photographs, pretending I was hiding. You're very mysterious, yeah. Can you imagine living in Bali? Now, Brianna, a friend of mine, is um, she's a, someone who coaches you to, uh, what God, what's the word? It's when you don't really have anywhere, you work from anywhere. Uh, nomad, nomad traveler or something. Amazing. I'm not going to leave my beloved Paris, but I love the idea of it. Maybe I could do that for about, you know, six months or something. A mini, a mini nomad. <laughs> oh, great. Wonderful. She jumped right on board, straight in. You see, with the, the task for today, you literally, you could snap a picture of something. I mean, there's got to be something creative about it, you know, not just taking any photo. There's got to be something in it which you think is creative. Okay, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> Thomas is funny. He says... Uh, Maybe you, sh you should never ask me to do some reflections or some thoughts about things because there will be many words. Thomas is a man of many words. <laughs> Sometimes people think I'm a man of few words. <laughs> I don't know where they get that idea from, but I don't think people think that Thomas is a man of few words. He's a, he's a very lovely guy from Germany. And he's posted some great photographs. Look at this. Wow, that's great. I love it. I haven't seen these properly. <laughs> and this looks like something absolutely different to his first one. Tinkutsa, um, the brush print is breath to... Oh, she's commenting on this. I won't comment on your comments. Okay, Tinkutsa, really cool first, first day and then something nice, which I won't read. I choose intuitive writing. I chose intuitive writing as my go-to activity and I wrote this post. Now, I have to admit... Oh, that sent me off to another... I hope I can get back to where I was. And she read this. I won't read it all because it's quite long. And I haven't read it yet. And I will because, you know, I'm just catching up myself. Maybe the first lines. Well, surely this will lead to nothing. Butterfly. It's close to the end of the day. I was thinking about what I do during the day. I feel like I take normal things for granted. Um, okay, I'm not going to read all of that because uh, I wouldn't do it justice. So that's great. Something that just fell out of her head like that. And a pretty cool photograph as well. That's amazing. Really good. And Thomas says, I love your words and picture too. Okay, let's see if I can get back to where I was. Does anyone know how to turn off uh, Facebook notifications? <laughs> you can see I'm a real pro of the internet, can't you? Um, okay, so... Let's keep chugging down. Does anyone have any, any more questions about the challenge or is everything going fine? Okay. Uh, Angela says, uh, Sab, admire your creativity. You really inspire me. That's exactly this. This one is fantastic, what she did here. Look at this little thing here. Can you see what it what it is? It's the cutest little house with it even got a roof and a chimney. But it is actually a, where did she put the photograph? She put it, it's actually a milk carton. 
I'm sure we still have those sort of milk cartons somewhere. They don't seem too foreign to me, but I must admit they're normally just square sort of rectangular bricks these days. And she's turned it into a house that is so cute, Angela. I love it. Uh, Karen says, um, oh, poor Karen was having problems um, um, joining us, but I think she has managed. That. So from Thomas, check this out. This is really the cutest thing, almost the cutest thing I've ever seen, apart from the little house made out of the milk carton. I wonder if you'll be able to see this. <laughs> I wonder if I can make it bigger. I'll make it full screen. What's going to happen? There's music. I didn't know there was music. Does the butterfly, does the dragonfly move as well? No, it just seems to. That's amazing. It's something you could watch for ages, you know, because it's just... <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm mesmerised. Your creative, creative breakthrough coach is mesmerised. How about that? So simple, and yet, well, I don't know how he did it. Well, I can guess, but wow. From Despina, this is so beautiful, so pure, so lovely. Black and white, which is her thing. Gorgeously, oh, I was going to agree with the person who wrote this comment. This is gorgeously simple, Despina. Um, <laughs> and you can see why I would agree with them. Absolutely lovely. Simpler is so often better, don't you think? And how long did it take her to do that? A second? <laughs> Sounded like I was, I was criticizing you. Know, you know, took a second. Try two seconds next time, you know, make a bit of an effort. But absolutely, no, there's no rules. That's the point. There are no rules. There are only anti-rules for the first assignment. I hope you liked my anti-rules. And these are the words that went with it, she said. Rain or teardrops? Is nature crying? How do I know? I see them on my window. I fall into a sulky spell. Cosmos, please tell. Are those your tears or just my fears? And I think Vespina is getting deeper and more meaningful and her creativity is just exploding day by day. It's really wonderful to see this because I've known you for a while now and it just keeps getting better and better. And this is quite simple. I tried writing a simple poem the other day and I was really, really pleased with it, you know, because it took me two seconds. No, it didn't take, it took me a few minutes. I wonder if I can find it. You know, I'm, I mean, you know, just because this is how I do things, I mix things up. It's not that I'm showing off my stuff. It's just that I see no, um, no line between what I'm doing, what you're doing in both in both directions. I don't see any line there, you know. Your stuff influences mine, mine influences yours. It all goes round and round. And I just wanted to, to tell you, to show you that very, very quick poem that I did. And I thought, that's so much actually harder hitting or even more profound than, than my longer stuff. And that's interesting to come to, isn't it? I've been writing poems for many years. And I've seen this in other poets as well. Often they come back to simplicity, having got really complex, you know, like deep and meaningful bullshit sometimes, come back to simplicity, but with all of that deep and meaningful stuff and the naive little poems from the beginning, then get all, you know, heavy, complex, uh, very clever. And then towards the second half of their life, I was gonna say towards the end, I hope I'm not getting towards the end yet. So much simpler things, but which seem to have within them the entire sort of weight of their of their legacy. So this is the one that I thought of. I'm not saying this is, you know, anything in particular. I'm just saying it's a short one. That's what I'm saying. Came from this. Two simple hearts on a uh, on a pavement. I almost said sidewalk then. God, my English is really getting polluted. And it's um, double vision. I call it double vision. <clears throat> Two colourful hearts, a couple of buses, a row of black trees. Who knows what the fuss is? The buses are leaving. The trees' hearts are heaving. The breeze still discusses so many false starts. Hmm. 
Absolutely beautiful, Desmond. Thank you. And people are loving it. Um, Kirsten. Kirsten, a oh, lovely one from Kirsten. And she says, today I created a creative diary. Never did something like that before. I will start it today. Well, I hope you have, because <laughs> you've only got a couple of hours to go. Um, I'll start it today. Where are you? In Germany. Yeah. Um, originally, it is a giveaway from, from my craftsman, a calendar, but I gave it a new suit. And I think that on the cover is the picture of you with the accordion in black and white, which we, we love so much in the, uh, in the Today's Today group, I think it was, or in, or in this group. A calendar, I gave it a new suit. Yesterday, I made some, some similar for my friend. And today, I thought the best things I'm always giving away, this one is for me. And you're absolutely right. It looks great. And I can't wait to see what uh, appears inside it. Some nice comments. Thanks for commenting as well. That's very much in the spirit of what I do. <clears throat> Comment on other people's as well. You know, it's not a one-way street. It's not a one-way thing. If you don't give, I mean, you give when you show your creations, but you're still it's still your creations. And then go and comment on others so that they receive what they have given to you. You know, it's lovely. It's a lovely thing to know what the effect of what you've created is on other people. And we need to tell them. We need to tell them or they, won't, they might not know. So there it is, folks. Even in just a few hours, you've come up with all of that. Here's Dorothy. Uh, what does Dorothy say? Just seen this. Maybe I should refresh this just in case. After a day cleaning my apartment. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, who have we got here? We've got... Dorothy saying hello. We're just about to look at your post, Dorothy. Michael's here. Hi, Michael. Good to have you here, man. Uh, Facebook user, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Um, the anti rules were awesome. <clears throat> well, simplicity is so powerful. You know, there are rules can have a place, TC, um, but not in this first assignment. And I think you probably, you know, you probably understand why. I did that. Well, you can guess why I did it. So I'm glad you like them. Um, simplicity is so powerful. Yeah, you know, I'm really moving. Am I? I don't know. No, sometimes I'm not. I could also have shown you a recent poem, which is like <laughs> complex to, to hell, you know. But anyway, um, hi, Vespina. Uh, right, I was just going to go back down to the end and then say goodbye. If anyone's got any other comments or questions, let me have them. And maybe I'll do the same thing tomorrow and give you a bit more notice as well. You know, I'm doing it right at the end of the day for Europe because people in the States, well, it's not the end of the day for them. So they wouldn't have had time to watch the video and actually do anything. But uh, don't worry, if you contribute, if you haven't contributed yet for day one and you do, I will take you into account tomorrow. So it's not a problem. I need to give you some prizes. Dorothy says, after a day cleaning my apartment, I thought that it was productivity and not creativity, even though I had to take a lot of decisions. Then I had a guest for dinner and the fish was made in a new way. Creativity, I thought. Okay. My creativity hat got some glitter. Creativity, I thought. Two interesting conversations, but was it creative? As a child, I did create songs and could sing for hours. Then I went to explore things, visiting people. Okay, great. Well, you know, as I said, there's no rules. I didn't tell you anything about how to show or contribute your creativity. So that is wonderful. You had a day with creativity in your mind, asking yourself, is this creative? Uh, how can I be creative here in in day to day tasks, which is cool. And someone was writing a comment, but they seem to have disappeared. So um, I understand. Thomas thinks that the Facebook user is him, burning light. Well, I hope you've got a fire extinguisher near you. Uh, Thespina says, Sabulous, good night, dear man. I'm not going yet, so you've got to hang around for another couple of minutes, I'm afraid. <clears throat> uh, what do I want to say? Yeah, so, oh yeah, sorry, prizes. Well, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat tonight. I'm going to start softly, okay? I'll show you the prizes that I've got in my... Uh, 
Uh, okay, let me come back to here. Uh, right, so tonight I'm going to offer some prizes, which are these. <laughs> I'm going to send you postcards. Okay, so uh, um, who should I send them to? Should it be people who have contributed or people who have been watching tonight? What do you think? Uh, I'll send you a postcard. It's blank on this side, so I'll write on it. I'll write your address on it and send that off to you. It's my most profound and very simple poem. Uh, it's signed by the the poet, and that's my artistic signature. And it's got one of my favorite. It'd be nice if it focused. Focus, damn it! It's got one of my favorite um, pictures of Lady Eiffel. It says "With love from Paris." And it's uh, it's very deep and meaningful for me. So I will send this to you. If you, um, I'll tell you what, just say yes, please, in the comments, and I'll send you one. I'll need your address as well, but you can send it to me separately if I don't have it already. Okay. All you have to do to get this prize is uh, say um, postcard, please. No, poem, please. My reality, please. <laughs> Anything you like in the comments to this live, and I will send it to you with the postage stamp and everything. Um, there will be other prizes such as this. This is my calendar for this year. It says, have an infinitely creative year. Focus, focus. Have an infinitely creative year in 2021 with Sab in Paris. And there are 13 pictures with in my in my uh, crazy, crazy, it's called the, just trying to make it focus. In the crazy creative. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. You know, it's, there we go. Get crazy creative with me. And um, there are 13 of my Paris street photos and something on them to inspire a meme with my words, of course, to uh, to inspire you to be more creative. So I'll be giving away some of these. And um, I was going to I was going to offer to help you um, individually be as creative as you can be just a few minute sessions or maybe we could do maybe we can do a zoom together <clears throat> could we do a zoom later on in the week where you're actually on camera and we talk about your creative stuff that would be good and there are two big prizes no three three big prizes the first one is in no particular order um, um an infinity squared puzzle painting which is about this big It has nine pieces about this size. Okay, so one of those, an entire painting, that's worth about uh, nearly $200. And a coaching session for me. So it's an hour coaching session on focusing entirely on your creative life or anything you like, actually, just normal, you know, creative coaching, which is what I do. Um, that's worth about $150, something like that. And... Uh, and finally, I'm going to offer a, for free a place on my upcoming Creativity Masterclass. It starts on the 25th of January, and uh, the full price of that is 497 The early bird price right now is 297 So I'm going to offer one free place on, on that Masterclass. It's a nine-week Masterclass. It's amazing. It's everything I've got, everything I've got on creativity, productivity, almost life, the universe and everything. So that is on, that is up for grabs. If you complete all of the assignments, you do them all five days in a row and you're hanging around on Friday evening or, or sometime around then. So that's it. Poem, please says uh, Tinkutsa. Absolutely. That's been a, just said good night. Um, yeah. So just leave um, a comment if you'd like the poem and I'll send it to you. And uh, that's it. That's it for now, folks. So thanks for watching. Half an hour. Wonderful. And uh, I'll try and do another one of these tomorrow. And when I decide that I'm going to, I'll give you the link as soon as I've 
set it up so that you you've got a few hours advance so either now or tomorrow morning i'll put a link for the next one so i hope you enjoyed that thanks a lot yeah i think a zoom would be nice wouldn't it should we do a zoom later on in the week where we're actually all on camera that would be great thanks so much for contributing it's such an honor to have you spending your time with me and uh, i will talk to you again very very soon and i hope you are looking forward to tomorrow's video already the assignments are supposed to be easy simple and quick so do them just do them that's why you signed up there's no point being here if you're not going to do them and they're meant to be really quick but possibly profound so uh, do your best and uh, i'll see you again soon uh, tinkutsa says yes please for the poem absolutely can't wait for the master class despina you don't want the poem no no poem for you okay and uh, okay, yeah, so this one is coming on the masterclass. Uh, thank you, Sab, my absolute pleasure. Um, bye bye, thank you all. That's probably Thomas because he says Bibi, Bibi, which I don't think it's Bridget Bardot, is it? Bridget Bardot, thank you all. And uh, looking forward to the next video. Okay, right, um, I'll leave you now. Bye bye, have lovely ends of evenings, and uh, 